Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So this week I have my top 10 pens currently inked. So let's just go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black Gold Luchens. And we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Calseki. We have a Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar. We have a Visconti Corsani 90, we have a Visconti Corsani Octagonal, and we have a Visconti Wall Street. So let's look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the very beautiful, I'll zoom in here, this is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa. And this is a material that I really did like the look of. It's sort of reminiscence of some of the other Omas material but this is slightly different and uh, this is called the Africa but you can see here it's a really really nice material so I was so glad I was able to pick this up at the Midlands Pen Show in June 2019 so this is a celluloid pen using some of the old uh, Omas celluloid it has an Armando Simone Club, and this is a Magic Flex nib. This is a nib made by Bock with a feed there. It's an ebonite feed, but it is a really, really stunning pen. Uh, it's a pen that I like writing with a lot. You can see here, in terms of the size of my hand, this is uh, number 19. It's a numbered edition, but not limited, but this really is a lovely pen and I do like these Armando Simone Club Bologna Extras because they are the right size for me uh, they have a pneumatic filling system so they do have a sack inside the pen uh, like a lot of vintage pens and again this is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde so I have an Arco Brown here but this is an Arco Verde, so a, a green version of the Arco material. But you can see here again, this material really is beautifully stunning. And this was a material that I never actually liked the look of a number of years ago. And it's something that's grown on me so much. I think really you have to see this material, uh, I would almost say in person, but actually this, this video here is actually doing that material really good justice but when you see this material in a photo it's just like that or like that so you're really not going to see it sparkle like it does here on video so I think this is one reason why I do like doing the videos because you can really bring a pen to life and and this is exactly how you would see it in in your hands so this is a beautiful material the the Arco the whether or not it's the, the brown or the verde uh, you have again a Magic Flex nib here, and it is a nib with a very large ebonite feed made by Bock for Armando Simone Club, and it's called the Magic Flex nib. You can see here, in terms of the size of my hand, this is actually a really good size, really good weight, and as I said, that this has a pneumatic filling mechanism now it does have a hole here i'm not going to put my finger over the hole when i push this down but i'm unscrewing the back end here and then what i should be able to do is pull this rod out and you can see there this rod is engraved there with the chevrons i'm going to be very careful not to put my finger over that hole if i do it's going to spread ink out everywhere and i'm just going to screw that back up again so that there is no ink coming out of this pen because that's the last thing I want to do is inject or eject ink everywhere but this is a beautiful pen so that's what really started me down the road the the, the verde and, and the brown and then more recently I picked up the black and gold luchants 
and I picked this up at the October Pen Show uh, in London uh, 2019 but again this is a beautiful beautiful pen so this really is a stunning material I have uh, the um, Royal Blue Luchens uh, material um, and but this is even better so really glad that I was able to pick this one up you can see here that material is really quite stunning so again it's a Bologna it's an extra and it has that magic flex nib on it again so again with that very large ebonite feed you can see there it's a little bit of a bouncy nib uh, not as much as say a scribo nib is but it writes quite wet and for me this is a pen that I love writing with a lot. I love writing with all of my Bologna extras. They just write exquisitely well. And uh, although they don't have as much bounce, perhaps as I would like from some nibs, they do write well. Uh, they write very juicy wet. And it's just something that I like. And this is the Arco Brown version. And again, this material just pops. And you can see it here on camera it's just absolutely stunning material so for me this is a beautiful material it's a beautiful pen and I'm so glad I was able to pick this one up I picked this was my first uh, Bologna extra uh, that I picked up and I really do like that that nib the the pen itself it has that ebonite feed there everything just makes this a for me almost a perfect pen I love the material, I love the nib, I love how the nib writes, and it's just a beautiful pen. So, for me, the Bolognas are the pens for me. Then we have the Classic Pens LM1 that I also have inked up, and this is the Flame Red version, and this really is a stunning material. I do love this material a lot. It is a diffusion bonded acrylic there, can see there classic pens lm1 flame red uh, this comes with a bock nib it's a number six size nib it's a medium nib but uh, it's also a cartridge converter pen but this material is is very very lovely so i'm glad i was able to pick this up uh, again that was at a london pen show a couple of years ago in october uh, but it's a beautiful material so I'm glad that I was able to pick that one up. And then we also have the LB5 that I have inked up this week as well. So this is the Kawasaki. The LB5 is a Sailor King of Pen. And this one was actually made by Sailor. Uh, and you, you'll be able to see it here. But it does actually say Sailor LB5 Kawasaki. And it has the Sailor clip on there. And it also has a Sailor King of Pen nib as well. You can see there. And the lovely feed. It's a cartridge converter pen. So I can unscrew the body. And you'll see a Sailor converter there. Even though it's actually a classic pens LB5. But this is a really nice pen. It's a really good size of my hand. It's a pen that I love writing with. Although it's a medium nib, and I, when I say a medium nib, it's an Asian medium nib, so it's more like a Western fine nib. So it's not a nib that I would normally gravitate to a lot. I tend to like Western mediums, Western boards. And then I have the Sailor King of Pen, and this is a Sakura Nagara that I picked up at the London Pen Show in October 2019. And this is the stunning pen that I'd actually ordered about 10 months prior and I'd cancelled the order about 5 months prior and there it was sitting there at the London Pen Show. So uh, I, I decided I had to buy it and you can see why. It's a lovely Macchié Varden. There you can see the gold dust on it, the abalone shell. But it is a stunning, stunning pen. So you can see there, Sailor. Japan and it's you 
you just see the rest there 1911 founded but it is beautiful beautiful so for me this is actually a stunning pen and it is a king of pen so it does have that sailor 1911 nib there king of pen nib and this is a board nib so it's a an asian board nib which really is a medium nib in in a western nib but it writes really nicely for me and then also i have inked up is the visconti corsani 90 and this is a homo sapiens and it's a pen that i really really love a lot i love these stacked celluloids um i love the nib on this it's a 1.3 millimeter uh, palladium nib it's a stub nib and you'll see it there but it is a gorgeous gorgeous nib so for me this is a beautiful pen uh it writes very nicely and it's really an ideal size it's a power vac filler so for me this actually works really really well for me and this stack celluloid as you can see here really is quite stunning you just see how it just lights up there as you turn the pen so for me stack celluloid is always a good thing and so i have that one inked up i also have the second version of it which is called the octagonal and again that stacked celluloid is beautiful so this is an octagonal pen it's a faceted pen again made by visconti for celograph corsani uh, which is a pen store in rome in italy and this is uh, a beautiful pen and actually celograph corsani is really not that far from the vatican it's a uh, very very close so this is a beautiful pen uh, this one actually has a broad nib on it. It's a 23 cap palladium broad nib. But again, in the size of my hand, it's actually a really decent size. So for me, again, I love the stacked celluloids. It's got the hook safe lock on it. It's a power vac filler. So for me, that is a really nice pen. And then last but not least, we have the Visconti Wall Street, which again is another stacked celluloid pen. This is not octagonal, but it, it's squaring the circle that Visconti call it. But again, this material is really stunning. You can see there that beautiful stacked celluloid. So this is, again, another power rack filler. It's a uh, 23 cap palladium nib. I've got a stub nib on this one. But a beautiful, beautiful pen. You can see the size of my hand is actually a really nice size. And that's the nib there. It's a, a really lovely stub nib, palladium stub nib. 1.3 millimeter stub. Uh, you have an ink window there as well. But this really is a good size pen. So I'm really uh, glad that I have that in my collection. And I've got it inked up this week as well. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen here I have inked up is an Armando Simone Club. So we'll do an ink swatch. As you can see, this is quite a white, uh, a very wide, wet nib. So it is an Armando. Simone Club and it's a Bologna Extra Africa and it is a medium it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is D Atramentus chocolate and this really is a beautiful chocolate ink so much that I actually sometimes feel that I want to lick that ink I know that sounds silly but chocolate is always nice so for me that's a lovely ink then we have again another Armando Simone Club and we'll do an ink swatch and again 
you can just see how wet this nib is so it's an Armando Simone club it's a Bologna extra and it's an Arco Verde again it is a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon and it's number 27 and it's Bazurden Wood Grawn but it's an ink that I do love as a green ink myself and then we have the next pen which again is another Armando Simone Club and you can see the pattern here I do like these pens I do like these nibs you can see here again it's a very super wet nib so it's an Armando Simone Club Bologna and it is the extra and it's the black and gold Luchance we're going to run out of space and it's a medium 18 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ Honey which is an ink from the guys or the couple at KWZ that I really do like a lot. And then we have the beautiful Arco Brown. So this, we'll do an ink swatch. You can see here, again, it's quite a wet nib, but it writes very well. So it's an Armando Simone Club and it's a Bologna it's an extra and it's the Arco it's just Verde there actually it's an Arco Brown it's a medium 18 carat gold nib and the ink in here is Akamon S B R E Brown. That's me skipping the nib there, just lifting it off the page. But that is a beautiful pen. Writes very, very well. And then we have the classic pens LM1. And you'll see here, this is more of a, a drier red ink than I normally would go for. But this is a classic pens LM1 flame red. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Blackstone Yaluru Red. But that is a nice ink that I like a lot. But it is more of a drier ink. And then we have again the other classic pens so we'll do an ink swatch here and this is a Sailor King of pen nib but this is more of a finer nib so it's a classic pens LB5 and it's the Kauseki and it's a medium and it's a 21 
cat, gold nib, and then the ink in here is Pilot Awashizuku, and it's Sakushi. And Sakushi is horse's tail. But that's quite a nice ink as well, nice brown ink. And we have a stunning Sailor King of Pen. So we'll do an ink swatch on this. Now this is a broad nib and this is a new ink that I picked up in October 2019 at the London Pen Show in, in October. And this is an ink that I wanted to buy a long time but I thought it's just another orange or a, a reddish orange. But it's a beautiful colour. So this is, first off, it's a Sailor King of Pen. And it's the Sakura Nagar. And it's a broad 21 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is KWZ grapefruit but again a beautiful ink and it's just one of these inks that I wish I'd picked up a lot sooner and then we have the stunning Visconti stacked celluloid here so we'll do an ink swatch now this is very wet very broad because it's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and you can just see how wet that is. So it's a Visconti. It's a oops, it's a Homo sapiens. Yeah, that's some of my hand oil probably on this page. And it's a uh, Corsani 90. And it is a 1.3. Yeah, there you go. It's, that's my hand oils there. I'm going to need a stub nib. And it is a... Uh, 23 cat uh, palladium nib and the ink in here is diamine and I want to say oh great it's not it's a uh, majestic it's not a great at all purple but this is a beautiful purple ink and it's an ink that I've always matched up with that pen, and I just love it so much. And we have the next Visconti stacked celluloid. And I think this is actually starting to run low. So I hope I don't run out of ink. But it's a Visconti. And it's the octagonal. So... Uh, it's uh, octagonal from Corsani and uh, it's a broad nib and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is uh, pelican edelstein topaz that is starting to run low but again that's a very lovely light turquoise or topaz ink and then the final pen again is another Visconti and this is a very wet nib very broad nib because it's a again another 1.3 millimeter stub nib so this is the Visconti uh, Wall Street and this is the LE version and it's a my hand oil here it's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and the ink in here is Diamine Aqua Lagoon Again, a very lovely teal ink, really. I guess teal or turquoisey, more teal, really. So, I think let's go through and read the inks 
with the inked up pens one more time we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diatramentis chocolate we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon number 27 Bazudan Woodgrown we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Lucents with a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Honey. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown with a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon SBRE Brown. We have a Classic Pens LM1 Flame Red in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Yuluru Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki in a medium 21 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Orochizuku Sakushi. We have a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar in a broad 21 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grapefruit. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 with a 1.3mm stub 23 karat palladium nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal in a broad 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Topaz. And then finally we have the Visconti Wall Street Limited Edition with a 1.3mm stub 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.